Hello and welcome back. Today we will learn about three basic types of supports that we will be using extensively in this course. You may remember what support is. It's nothing but an external arrangement to constrain the degrees of freedom of a point in the structure. But before we proceed, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button to join us in this wonderful journey of learning structural engineering with Stan. Now we'll discuss about the fixed pin and roller support and we'll also see which degrees of freedom does this support constrain. So let us consider this ball to be having a fixed support. Now instead a fixed support is being depicted as this small rectangular box. Now when a support is fixed this constraints all the degrees of freedom. So for a fixed support there would be constraints in degrees of freedom along the x direction, there would be constraints along the degrees of freedom in y direction, there would be constraints for the degree of freedom in z direction, there would be constraints for rotation about x axis, rotation about y axis and rotation about z axis. So when you apply a fixed support to the ball, there won't be any way that this ball could move. It's completely fixed against any rotation. Now let us consider, so this is the fixed support. Now let us consider a pin support. In stack and also traditionally, the pin support is represented as this small triangle. Now the pin support, the specialty of, of pin support is that, that it constrains all the translational degrees of freedom, but it allows all the rotations. So basically for a pin support, the translational degrees of freedom would be constrained, but the rotational degrees of freedom will not be constrained. And finally, the other thing that we wanted to talk about is a roller support, which is like a pin support, but with wheels beneath. So this is the traditional way of representing a roller support, but instead we don't have this way of representing a roller support. Now this roller support, since it's, it has wheels beneath it, it would apply or allow a translational degree of freedom in, in the direction of the roller, but the rest of the characteristics are same as the pin support. That is, that is, it would restrain any translational motion, but apart from the direction of translation that is allowed by the rollers, and it will allow the rotational motions. Now let us let us assume that this wheels here allows translation only in the x direction. So in this case, the constraints in x won't be there, but there would be constraints in the y and the z direction and this ball will have freedom of movement in rotations about all the axes. So there won't be any constraints in the rotational directions. So this is the concept of a fixed pin and this is the roller support. So there is no direct way that we can represent a roller support in STAB, as I have said, but we represent it using something called a fixed part support. Now there is no specific type of support called a roller support in STAB Pro, but there is a support type called fixed part. We can use this fixed part to define a roller support. So what is this fixed part support? Let us see. So as we had learned, the fixed support would mean constraints in all the degrees of freedom. So fixed but would mean fixed but allowing the constraints to be removed in the directions as mentioned after the but command. So for a roller support, we can 
consider this as fixed. The support is fixed, but it won't have constraints in theta z, theta y, theta x, and if the roller is in x direction, it won't have constraints in delta x. The constraints would be in delta y and delta z. So fixed would mean constraints in all the directions, but a roller would mean fixed, but what are the directions? Delta x in which it won't be constrained, theta x in which it won't be constrained, theta y in which it won't be constrained, and theta z in which it won't be constrained. So, this is how roller support is represented in STAT Pro. But this is not exactly the STAT command. In STAT, it's represented as fixed but delta x is represented as fx, theta x is represented as mx, theta y represented as my, and theta z is represented as mz. So fixed but fx, mx, my, mz would represent a roller support in stand. So F and M should have represented forces and moments and not translations and rotations. So this is a bit of a misnomer really, but this should not let you get confused. And I hope the concepts today are clear. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section below. I hope you have liked this video. And if you have, please hit the like button and please press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.